Guys, congratulations on the film. I've got to say, I've, I really enjoyed it. Um, you were both part of the team behind the stage show. I wondered how you first came across the book and what made you think that there was actually a stage show in there rather than just, say, a straight play. Uh, well, the... Uh, the RSC came to came, back in the day. The RSC came to me and sort of asked me about doing it, you know. And um, I hadn't read the book at that stage because I was a bit older than the generation that sort of uh, would have grown up with Matilda. So I went and read it, and um, I just thought it was great. I just thought it was. It just seemed to me like it would. It made a lot of sense. Like I, I don't think asking me to do a musical made sense because I didn't know anything about musicals. But like I, I, once I read it, I felt like I wanted to be in. I wanted to get do it, you know what I mean? Because I felt like I wanted to be in that world, you know. Um, I do remember the RSC saying, we are doing this show for Christmas and it's going to be a play with music. And at some point after <coughs> I um, saw Dennis's script and got involved, I said, I think this might be able to go longer than Christmas and I think it should actually be a musical, could actually be a musical. So, and the reason I said that is because the, there's enough to sing about in the story, you know. When you're writing a musical, you think, is it worth singing about? And are the, are the um, stakes in the story, are the characters, are the situations uh, enough to motivate songs? And, is it, and then the other thing is, like, could go longer than Christmas, because it's such an incredibly uplifting story um, about empowerment. makes us feel stronger watching it, I think. And um, so that's, maybe, that, that, that's what I could see in it at the time. So once you put it on stage as a musical, how soon did you think, actually, there's a film in this? Well, I didn't know whether we were going to be allowed to make a film or not, because I didn't know how successful it was going to be. But when I was actually <coughs> rehearsing the stage version, and this happens to me a lot, I find it helpful to see things cinematically while I'm rehearsing. So you can say, to, even if it's just to help actors, you can say, OK, so now imagine you're out on a playing field or you're through the window over there, you know, and there is none of these things around you, but you might say, imagine the full um, realistic picture. So I was put, sort of in my head, I had a lot of the big pictures um, when I was just rehearsing the stage show, not knowing if we'd ever be allowed to convert it into a film. So and when we got the opportunity to, I think we were probably a couple of years into the run of the play, uh, the, of the stage show, before we um, saw that a film was possible. So when you were moving from stage show to film what sort of adaptations or changes did you have to make did you make any uh, we made loads we made a lot you know i mean it's it's a strange thing because it's like it's it's recognizably the stage show but it's also recognizably different from the stage show you know and it was quite it was i think it was clear to us early on that we weren't going to... The stage show is very, very theatrical, so there was going to be a ton of stuff in there that just wasn't going to work on screen. But I think also we knew um, that we were we were now in a different medium and sort of bringing your, all, everything, all your knowledge and everything else from one medium into another don't really work. You've got, you've, got to be, you've got to think in a different way, you know. So it's actually quite different in lots of ways. Because isn't Trunchbull normally played by a man on stage? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but of course you've got Emma Thompson for this and she's absolutely having a ball I mean I don't need to ask you why you wanted her for the role but how did she react when you approached her did she take a lot of persuading? she took um, overnight as <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I remember it she said yes pretty quickly uh, the next day which was we were all hugely relieved and grateful for um, but yeah she had seen the show on stage and she got a kind of idea of what the piece was like and um, she was very fond of it and very um, complimentary <coughs> about it. So, yeah, and I was really happy because she's, she's such a great dramatic actress and also such a great comic actress, and I really wanted somebody who could do both things, yeah. yeah. And, of course, there are so many children in the <laughs> cast. Um, dare I ask how you kept them under control for those song and dance numbers? Electric well. collars. <laughs> <laughs> That's very yes. <laughs> yeah. There were um, nearly 300 kids in the film and um, with all kinds of different skills. And um, some of them great singers, some of them uh, actors, some of them brilliant dancers, some of them doing parkour, tumbling and what have you, um, acrobatics. So, um, yeah, we had a very long rehearsal period for the musical numbers. So um, over two months before shooting and then whilst we were shooting there were under-rehearsals as well going on 
when the kids were being drilled by Ellen Kane did the choreography and um, yeah and so there's a lot of um, preparation we filmed um, on our phones we filmed the sequences in the rehearsal space at Alexandra Palace over and over again constructed um, the entire sequences beforehand and they were really they did put hour after hour after hour of practice in um, and that as a result you're seeing things that you've rarely seen before actually the kind of um, coordination and um, skill level of the kids it's extraordinary. Ellen worked with the kids on stage as well and the stage show and one of the things that we both knew is that the harder a task you give a kid the um, the better they will do and the, no matter you keep raising the bar they'll keep jumping over it so we felt pretty confident that they would be able to do extraordinary things in the film very important question do you both like chocolate cake? oh I love a bit of chocolate cake could you cake. eat a whole one? Um, give it a go. I took, one. you know that in <laughs> the film the chocolate cake is made up of layers <laughs> yes. and I took one entire layer home with me at the end of, the, of shooting, it was my son's birthday and I, and I put it's it in a box, they put it in a box for me and we took it, took it home and yeah, it took, it took two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> That's very restrained. Did it taste nice? Was it, was it yeah, it was a very good cake, really good, uh, yeah, really good uh, cake. Guys, great to talk to you. Thank you very much indeed. Cheers. Thank you.